Hello, my mystical Scorpios. Welcome back to Mystic Medium Tarot. Today, I'm going to be doing a reading for the second half of November 2020. That's for November 15th to the 30th. Now, for those of you that are coming back to my channel, welcome back. For those of you that are now joining, welcome. Um, those of you probably already know that I do things a little differently with readings. I do different techniques, different ways to get messages to come through from my guides and guardian angels. But first, let me tell you that I'm going to be doing the reading today with the Tarot Grand Lux deck right here, and then I'm going to be clarifying with the Rider Waite traditional deck. And then for any hidden messages that may be coming through at the end, I'm going to be using the Archangel Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue shown here at the front. Now, I'm going to be doing one of those things you've probably not seen before in readings, and I'm going to be doing a divination crystal reading to start out your reading to find out what the energies at the heart and core of your reading are going to be, Scorpio. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move these, and let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and tune in. Give me one moment. Spirits, guides, please give me answers and messages that you may have for Scorpio for the second half of November 2020. Answers and messages you may have for Scorpio in the second half of November 2020. Do y'all see this? Maybe we need to like go back and rewind how that actually fell in my hand. I don't know how. I think one bounced off the table and landed on my hand. I'm taking that right now. Like that is for you. We're going to read into why that's there. Um... Wow, that was interesting. What do you have? Okay. Okay, well, Scorpio. Scorpio, what's happening? Scorpio, it's almost like I'm seeing that you're trying to regain balance in your life because it's not been there. Um, things have not been working out the ways that you want and you're wanting that to happen for you. It's almost like this bridge that I'm seeing is, I saw a bridge for someone else, but that was someone building it for that zodiac sign. For this, I'm seeing like almost like a curvature of the bridge has had too much to handle and it's about to collapse. It's about to break. It's like there's stress and the pressure on it has just pushed it to the point of concaving. And what's interesting is Euconite is way off to the side which is the crystal for self-awareness, self-love. It's almost like you haven't had time for yourself, Scorpio. You haven't. And you're in this frantic energy of this is right here for you. This is amazing because this is obsidian. It's for protection, balance, literally balance. And you're in this state of imbalance and you're trying to find your balance again. You're trying to find this stable everything literally that's what's coming through because right now you're not even making time for yourself Scorpio and you need to that needs to be on this bridge that I'm seeing and it's not it's way off to the side you need to prioritize yourself let's get into this reading because this is very interesting and I really need to get some messages for you to come through we're going to be using this right here to center around the entire reading for your present energy which is obsidian again it is for protection balance good fortune and prosperity. You're wanting all this balance to happen, but it's not going to happen if you're not focusing on yourself. If you're not taking time for yourself, Scorpio. Very imperative, very important. And it's going to probably come through in the reading. And if not even probably, it is. I'm, I'm literally, it's a premonition of what this reading is going to be. It's going to be coming through self-focus and it's, it's really going to show and I cannot wait. Um, but there's, there's imbalance in your life right now. And it's, it, it, you're hard at work trying to figure out how to balance yourself, but that can't happen if you're not on the table, if you're not willing to put yourself in the mix. You're trying to balance career, you're trying to balance love, you're trying to balance family, you're trying to balance, trying to balance all these things that are coming your way. When you don't realize that balance starts from within before it comes to without. And right now you're working on the external before you work on the internal. That, that might even be the title, working on the internal before you work on the external. We're going to get into this reading, though. I'm so excited. Um, all right. As if. <laughs> Scorpio. Scorpio. 
we have the hanging man to start. You're trying to see things from a new light. You're trying to gain a new perspective. You're trying to really, and I, I believe another water sign got this, um, cancer. You, you're in this process of reevaluating how can I get everything to really mesh together in the most proper and apropos way that's going to fit your needs and what you need right now. Um, you're taking a step back right now and it's almost like reclusing and it's, you aren't on the table. It's almost like you're taking a step back, but you're not there. You're not present with yourself, Scorpio. But more is gonna come through, more is gonna come through. Um, okay, all right. Let's go ahead and pull out what you need to focus on. That was a lot, I'm gonna take the top card and I'm gonna ask for one more since a bunch came out with it. Okay, ooh, ooh. Can I get one more card for this, please? Splitting the deck to pull this. Oh, okay. Scorpio, some of you are really in need and want that happy home life, that happy family. Some of you are probably looking into possibly buying a pet. Some of you are possibly looking into rekindling a relationship you had or going further a step further in the relationship you have. And in the process of doing so, you're in this point of re, like reevaluating and trying to figure out, okay, how can I get all of this to work to allow this to make come to fruition in your life? You're gonna be victorious. You're gonna be focusing on this opportunity that's gonna be coming your way. And it is an opportunity for a happy life, a happy home. It's the 10 of cups with the ace of wands. Someone could be coming through to you and telling you, let's take this all the way. Let's have a happy life. Let's not just talk about it anymore. Let's actually do it. Ooh, you feel that? You feel that, Scorpio? That's what's coming through. Can I get an opportunity for Scorpio? Literally, this is, <laughs> this is someone that's taking a step back. It's literally you in your hanging man position and it's with career. The seven of coins. It's the coin, it's the card of harvest, but it's also the coin of taking a step back and looking at everything you've cultivated, looking at everything that you've grown, looking at everything that you've put work into, and now it's time to reap. You've sowed and sowed and sowed, and you've watered it, and it's grown. The fruit ain't gonna pick itself. The coins aren't going to reap themselves, you know what I mean? You gotta put out the work, you gotta, you've already put in the work, you, know, you need to go grab it. You need to go cash that check. The check was already put in your door. Now go cash it. Some of you may be getting some checks this month, at the end of this month. Some of you may be, um, <sighs> literally makes sense. Scorpio, I mean, we're in your moment right now. And I literally just heard in my mind, um, birthday checks. And I was like, wait, like, what do you mean birthday checks? Like it's November. It's November. It's November. You're in your moment right now. Some of you may be getting some checks. Some of you may be cashing them. Some of you may be celebrating, but it's almost like some of you don't feel like you can celebrate because right now you have so much you're trying to work on. Does that make sense? Um, okay, let's get a card for the past energy. Okay, I'm not gonna take those. I'm gonna take the one that flipped up in my hand is like stuck in between my fingers. Scorpio. Scorpio. The balance card. Literally how I said in this reading, I'm making a premonition, it's coming too. It's coming in there. Right now there's that bow in your bridge of life, your bridge of stability, if I can make that analogy. And you're trying to figure out how to balance it. You're trying to figure out how to bring it back up. You're trying to figure out how to put more structure to it to hold everything that you're taking on, Scorpio. And you're in this past energy of recent past, trying to figure it all out. And now you're in this moment of taking a step back and really assessing what's happening and really figuring out, getting this new perspective. Okay, like I've been working so hard on balancing, there's gotta be an easier way to do this. And there is, and we're gonna come to that. Let's go ahead and get to the future outcome for Scorpio. Well, let me get those other cards. Ooh. Can I get a future outcome card for Scorpio? Y'all are, 
crazy right now. <laughs> and I'm not saying that to like be like demeaning. I'm just saying like the energy that's associated with y'all is just like <sighs> cards, cards. Like I, I think it's the reference um, from Princess and the Frog. If y'all see the cards, the cards, like, okay, anyway. <laughs> Forget me, but um, future outcome. Woo! I'm liking it. I know two more happened. I'm actually taking all five for your outcome. Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Hermit. Your opportunity is to reap everything you've sowed, and in your future position, you are. You come out of the Seven of Coins, and you automatically upgrade. It's like, boom, upgraded um to the queen of pentacles and it's someone that's able to it is someone that is reaping it's someone that's that has the power of reaping and sowing at the same time does that make sense it's like the moment she reaps is the moment she sows everything she puts her will and power into is manifestation in its purest form especially when it comes to career business finances and i do see you getting a yeah yeah, someone's coming in for you, Scorpio. Someone may be already like on the cusp of coming in. Someone you may be recently talking with someone or you're going to start talking with someone. Um, I don't recommend talking with someone in this energy of trying to fix balance because it's in balancing everything for you right now that allows the moment you balance this allows to have these fresh opportunities. And in your case, a fresh new love relationship scorpio okay but some of you may be like well i'm already in a relationship well someone could still be reached now that doesn't stop nobody like let's be serious and some people if some someone may literally speak their mind to you may tell you they have a crush may tell you that hey i'm really into you and you're just like i mean do you see me like okay like that's how you would be scorpio just kidding you wouldn't be like that would you would you? <laughs> um, no, but I do see someone that's coming in and offering you this really good love offer, okay? I don't see you accepting it at first. I see you being skeptical. Scorpio, I see you being skeptical. I see the Ten of Swords and the um, Hermit. You've been hurt too much with love to really almost have the discernment to know what's real and what's not. It's clouded your judgment of people in general. You're such an emotional sign, Scorpio. You are, you know, it's, Scorpio, you, you have the mutability because um, you're a mutable sign. So naturally you're, or no, you're a fixed sign. Um, but, you're very stern in what you believe, but you're also very emotional. You're very attached. And when you get to attach to someone, you tend to go all in and it's, it's hurt you. And so the moment that someone comes in with this opportunity, after all of this balancing that's going on, it's not that you don't accept it, it's that you don't trust it. Does that make sense, Scorpio? And it really is a beautiful offer. And let me tell you, it's real. It's real. The person coming in to offer you this is someone that is in a position to love. It's someone that's got their shit together. And that's going to be someone that you need right now, Scorpio. This year has been crazy for you. You've been trying to navigate this year. Literally, this year has been an entire GPS for you, Scorpio. And you've been navigating to the best of your abilities. And right now, you deserve this with what's coming in for you. You deserve it. Um, love that. Love that. Um, bottom of the deck. Or we need an overall energy. Overall energy. Card for overall energy. Not much to clarify. Hi. Hello. How are you? Overall energy. What did I tell you? Like, Scorpio. This is the overall energy. And this came in... Uh, 
you're looking for a way out right now. You're looking for a way out of everything that's happening right now in your life. This bow of your bridge and literally like when there's so much pressure, there's so much strain on that bridge. It's the 10 of wands. If I could have literally put a card of tarot into that crystal reading, it would be the 10 of wands. It would have been the six of six of pentacles and 10 of wands. They both came into this reading and I literally preventatively said it would come into this reading. Right now, you're dealing with a lot. You're dealing with a lot of pressures, a lot of pressures both on your home life, your family life, your work life, your love life. And where's the balance coming in? Where are you coming into the picture, Scorpio? Because you need to. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to others to put yourself first. You don't just owe it to yourself, but you owe it to others, but specifically yourself. You owe it to yourself right now to put yourself in this mix of finding a new perspective, not only for life in general, but for yourself. Where are you coming into this, Scorpio? Where are you? Okay, not much to clarify, really not much. Um, really not much. You need to focus on what you have been successful in this month. You need to focus on finding happiness and choosing happiness. That really is what's coming through. You need to focus on that this month because there really is happiness in your life, Scorpio. There really is. And someone beautiful is coming in. Okay. Like, okay. Um, I really... I really don't feel the need to clarify. If any, I'll do one card for the hangman, one more, one card for the ten of wands. But I feel like I gave you a juicy enough reading. Like we're talking about like a medium rare burger reading. You know what I mean? Like a juicy reading. Um, for those of you vegetarians out there, like a really moist tofu reading. Oh my word! I did not just say that. <laughs> okay. I had to delegate to every single person. Like you know, some people don't eat meat, so. <laughs> I cannot. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get a card for, I, I keep leaning towards this 10 of wands and you need clarity right now. And this energy you're dealing with a lot, Scorpio. So, um, can I get a card please to clarify this 10 of wands for Scorpio? Can I get a card please? Thank you. I need one more card, but if you could get another card equivalent to the Ten of Wands in Tarot, it's going to be the Eight of Swords. Literally. Literally. And you got both of them. Scorpio, you have so much on your plate. You have so much on your plate and you're searching for truth right now. You're searching for what's right for you. You're searching for, is this person right for me? Is this right for me in this moment in time? And amongst all of that again you're not in the mix scorpio put yourself first I, I i really think you need to because right now you're dealing with so much and you need to take a step back and when you're in this energy of the hanging man and not everyone gets the luxury of getting to be in this energy and the hanging man as much as you see it as like some people may see it as a stall or a stagnation no it's an opportunity every thing that you come across in life is an opportunity Anything and everything is an opportunity. And right now you have the opportunity to be taking a step back and looking at things of how things are working out for you. And you're going through a lot, Scorpio. The Eight of Swords, I almost said Eight of Wands, but Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. And we have the Ten of Swords. Like, people have hurt you. It's caught, like, you're dealing with everything on, like, your shoulders and let someone else carry the load for you. Let someone else carry the load for you if you know what I mean Scorpio let someone else carry the load for you okay 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 um but yeah that's what's coming through and I really don't need to clarify much else because right now you have a lot on your plate and you need someone else to help you eat it does that make sense? That's a beautiful analogy, but you got a lot on your proverbial plate right now and you're eating it all by yourself and Thanksgiving ain't even happened yet. That's the one day you can not let anyone share on your plate. Just kidding. I never let anyone eat food off my plate. Um, fun fact, just kidding. <laughs> totally kidding. Okay, um, I need some final messages for Scorpio because they are going through a lot. All right, final message for Scorpio.
2 came out. Okay, we have these two messages for you, and I really do feel like these are the specific two. Sometimes I hear other numbers, but I'm really feeling like this is final. These two messages are coming through for you. One, Scorpio, healthy lifestyle. It says, Archangel Raphael, eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. Some of y'all have been going through it because some of you may have healthy lifestyles, but you're not able to live up to their fullest expectation because gyms are closed where you're at. You may not have access to the funds to afford a healthy lifestyle, if you know what I mean. But this goes deeper, and I was saying this to another sign, but it really goes deeper to the fact that this isn't only a healthy lifestyle with what you may think, oh, food, eating, no. What are you ingesting energetically? What are you soaking in vibrationally? Is it healthy for your body? Is it what you need right now? Because right now you're dealing with so much and the least you can do for yourself is to be in the right mental state, be constantly striving for a spiritual state of mind that's gonna really help you through all this because you don't have to go through this alone and you never are alone. I have news for you, you never are. We never are, none of us are. We have access to this beautiful wealth of knowledge that's in the spiritual realm that's, spiritual realm, wow, I can't even talk. Um, spiritual realm that's available to you and to me and to every single person. And I love that. You need to really focus on that healthy lifestyle, um, but the deeper meaning as well. Counselor is the other option, and I really love this, and you need to put yourself back in the mix because I don't. you're not giving yourself enough credit, Scorpio. Counselor, Archangel Azrael, you are a natural-born counselor, and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance, and one of those people that can benefit from your guidance and reassurance is yourself. Do you realize you have the power to heal yourself? You're looking to others for advice and looking to others to give you the answers you need when they're already within you, Scorpio. They're already within you. You're dealing with a lot right now. I do see love coming in. It's beautiful. But right now, I literally told you balance would be showing up. The stress is showing up. And right now, this is the card of, this is the, not card, the crystal for balance and protection and good fortune and prosperity. And you're wanting all that, but there's a lot you're going through right now. Anyway. I hope that helped, Scorpio. I know that was a very intense reading, but there is beauty in the outcome. Trust your intuition, trust what's right for you, and everything will fall into place. Love you all so much. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you're located in the world, Scorpios. And stay safe, stay healthy, and always stay positive. Also stay positive. Never stop smiling, too, and stay mystical.